Good morning. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Acadian Overland. If this is your first time tuning in, I'm Jessica. And I'm Jill. Salut. Bonjour. <laughs> uh, today we're actually going hiking. We're going uh, kind of back into Fundy National Park, but not. We're actually going to go hike a trail that's located uh, in the town of Elma, which is just before the park. Uh, we just kind of recently heard about it and got curious, so we're going to go hike that and see what that's all about. So stay tuned while we bring you along with us. Route 114 is a secondary road joining Riverview and Sussex and serves as a primary route to Fundy National Park. Following the Petticodiac River, the 114 offers lots to see and do along the way. Everything from antiques and crafts, museums and top attractions like the Hopewell Rocks. count on when you come to Fundy Park <clears throat> is it's always going to be colder than home. I think we left Moncton it was supposed to be like 31 degrees today mm -hmm. and we're a whole 17 degrees here in Elma. Time to switch this flip-flops for the hiking boots. having the highest tides in the world. They're not kidding. And these boats are sitting literally on the ocean floor. Actually, when we come back, we should see how high the water's actually gone up or down after yeah. our hike. Check uh, what time is the tide. Yeah. You're gonna break her heart. See the view up here? I know. Eh? Yeah. It's pretty neat. Never seen Elma from this perspective, actually. So, this, All right. according to online, there's a trailhead, so let's go check that out. So this is nowhere near our maintained trail, but... It may only be 17 degrees out, but it is a hot 17 degrees. All right, so after realizing that we actually took the wrong entrance, we finally made it to, I guess, where we were supposed to be. It was kind of more of a water runoff than anything and ducking under trees and not the funnest thing, but we made it through. No, it was quite tight, but uh, hey, it was an adventure. So now we know we're at the right spot because there's a sign. So I think we forgot to mention that the trail is called the Green Snake Trail. So there you go. It's uh, 7.1 kilometers out and back. So. There's a little sign to tell you you're going the right way. Yeah, this looks a little bit more like what we're supposed to be on. <laughs> yep. All right, let's see what this is gonna give us.
hot, babe? I'm hot, yeah. <laughs> you are sexy. <laughs> there is absolutely no wind in here. Yep. It is hot and humid. It is. All right, let's go. Ready? Yep. How's this for a nice spot? Just to recap, the end of the green snake trail was right about there, and that was at about 4.4 kilometers. And what was the total elevation about? Uh, 263 meters. And what we decided to do instead of go back the same trail is we're, we basically walked all this, we're gonna come down this way, and then come back down to Elma. So that's what we're gonna do instead. I don't know about you, but I found the trail a little lackluster. Yeah, there was no viewpoint really that was interesting, uh, it, it was boring. There was probably just one place where it was uh, interesting in that little valley where the river is. There was a couple nice little things to look at, but it didn't feel like there was any prize at the end. It just kind of felt, oh, you're done. Yeah, that hike wasn't rewarding. No, it said so. that uh, what was more of a four-wheeler trail than anything it would have been nice to actually have the Jeep go through it instead of our feet <laughs> yeah really so we're gonna take the paved roadway down to Elma back to the Jeep and then we'll go find a nice spot to relax and have a little bit of food have a good snack and I'm gonna show you guys the view up here hang on Nothing better after a day of hiking than taking off your hiking boots, putting your flip-flop on, and eating a good sandwich. Yep. And change your clothes too. <laughs> Especially for someone that's sweat a lot. Like him. So in total we did 13 kilometers between hiking and walking. Yep. So we had to do some pave to be able to go on our way back, I guess. 11 kilometers of hiking and 2 kilometers of walking. So overall, Green Snake Trail. Not something we're going to do again, but at least it's something we can kind of check off the list. We did that, it, we saw, eh, at least it's done. That's pretty much all what it is. When we were directly in the wilderness, mm -hmm. it, I mean, there was barely anything. We saw probably one or two squirrels. That's about it. That's about it. When we saw... Owl, owl regurgitation, we saw uh, moose prints, mm -hmm. we heard some frogs, a couple of birds, actually uh, looked like a robin's egg that was cracked, but it looked like a robin's egg. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there was more life on the ATV trail than the actual wilderness trail. Mm. Yeah, it is what it is. We got this beautiful view behind us, so we're good. So for <laughs> anyone wondering, Green Snake uh, Trail. Uh, nah. It's it's your choice to do it or not, but I mean, there's not much to see. Mm. And anybody who has subscribed to our channel and joined the uh, AO family on Facebook or Instagram, we appreciate you. Even though the the family is small right now, it, it is growing. So we appreciate everybody who tunes into to read or watch or whatever we're posting. So until next time, don't stop exploring. Cheers.
And by the way, we were talking about the tides this morning. So we are four, what time is it right now? About four o'clock? It's 4.31, which is close to high tide. And look how much higher the water is. And then we, we were here at about 11.30, 12 this morning. About that. So you can see how high it is now.